Welcome back on WKTV, joined by rookie defenseman Shimon Nemitz. Uh, Shimon, just tell us in uh, your thoughts how the season has gone for you, your first campaign in North America, coming to the American Hockey League after a second overall draft selection. How are you feeling? How is it going? Yeah, um, I think the season is is pretty good. Like uh, we didn't start, we didn't start well, but like now, now we are in second place, and like uh, we are playing uh, really good hockey. And uh, yeah, I like to be here, and like uh, and everything's going well. The one thing that I notice when I watch you play is you're always having fun. You seem to be, you love to play the, the yeah. game. After practice, you're out there for still another half an hour every time. You do love being on the ice, don't you? Yeah, I like uh, play play uh, uh, big minutes on the yeah. ice. I like play with the puck, and uh, yeah, that's my that's my game. And I think uh, the coaches are are good with with uh, my my game. So the one thing I, I, there's a couple things I noticed about you, but your elusiveness. You have the puck on your stick. You never seem to put yourself in a bad spot. You always seem to get out of trouble if you need to be there, and then have a, a beautiful f uh, first pass out of the zone. Is that something that you pride yourself in doing? Yeah, I think uh, this is my like uh, biggest strength. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, if I'm if I'm moving my legs, uh, I think uh, I my my game is better. And like, yeah, I love playing with the puck, and I think uh, everybody everybody can see it. I remember you scored your first goal yeah. in this building here. You made that move to the middle. You changed the angle. Uh, you got it through traffic. I, I know it's a while ago now, but it must feel good to score a goal and your first goal there. That was a nice one. Yeah, yeah, it was a nice goal, but uh, I scored a couple nice goals here. Uh, last year I scored one goal in the regular season, and now now I, I've got nine. But uh, yeah, I still I still can improve something. You're, you know, you're playing with Tyler Watherspoon. Yeah. He just turned 30 years old. So compared to compared to him, you, he's he's an old man. But uh, what have you learned from Tyler? What are, what are you able to take from him and that that pairing that is you know pretty been pretty solid for the team. Yeah, like he's he's good player. He's he's good leader and like uh, and and good mentor for me. Yeah, he played the uh, uh, Olympic Games last year uh, for Canada. It's it's so good for him and uh, yeah, I think I like play with him and uh, we are we are good good to deep pair. I think. How important is it the communication perspective when you're talking to one another on the ice? You have some familiarity because you've been out there with him. But you, you have to really have that communication down because otherwise, as a defenseman, uh, it could be problematic. Yeah, like uh, beginning of the season, it was it was a little bit harder because like the our our communication wasn't good. But now we played like, a lot of games together, and yeah. like now our communication is good, and uh, we we can see the, we can see each other on the ice, and like um, yeah, he's good he's good demon, and uh, and I like him like the player and like person. How excited are you about the possibility of a playoff spot, getting into the postseason, and making a run at a Calder Cup uh, with a really great team? Yeah, I think uh, we are we are like playoff team because uh, we're working so hard, and uh, yeah, I think uh, in a playoff we can be we can be better team like in a regular season. Well, it's been nothing but fun watching you play and watching you develop over the course of the year. We wish you nothing but the best of success the rest of the way and moving forward. Thanks for doing yeah, this. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. We'll be right back after this.